Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Brought Johnny out. Here's the new cart. Um, practicing on Friday before the uh, race on Sunday. Um, send Johnny out in the cart in a bit. You ready? Yeah. All right. Should be fun. Some guy's uh, going to play with his drift car and then uh, we'll get a session. We're out here at IMI. Hey guys, uh, I got something pretty cool for you today. This is my first time driving this brand new cart. It has a motor on it I borrowed from Ryan because the uh, lead time on the motor was too long, but it's a brand new uh, CKR ch uh, Stingray chassis. You can probably tell I have no idea what I'm doing based on my lines here. This was on Friday before the race. We had a Friday and a Saturday practice. Um, and then the race, I will post a link to the video of, of the race, which went really well. It was a lot of fun. Um, but here is my first lap around the track in a brand new cart. It's so exciting. It, it's, it's really cool. Um, IMI is really smooth, much more so than action karting. The only other experience I have in a 206 was a day of the doing the tri karting program with Eric from Point Karting at Action Karting, and that track is really rough and much tighter. And in some ways, it seems much more technical. This track, there's so wide in so many areas, and so much of it is just flat out. Anyway, um, here you can see I'm catching up to someone in one of these two-stroke carts. These things are pretty cool. They uh, accelerate pretty hard. Uh, they have a lot more power than the LO206. The LO206 is a four-cycle Briggs & Stratton sealed spec motor, uh, and it's the most popular and maybe one of the most competitive uh, setups for local kart racing here in Colorado and oh he just saw him spin out I'm really excited to be doing this now the rest of this video will include uh, videos I took over the weekend on practice days and then a, a few videos from the race day sort of summary summarizing what was happening at different points this is more of a vlog than the other videos that I posted, which were more just specific events. I'll uh, stop this when we go over the start finish line for the first complete lap. Hey guys, this is the official practice day, Saturday. I'm here at IMI. Apparently I'm too early. The gate is locked. I've seen a couple of people drive up there and drive actually on the racetrack to get into the pits to get around this gate. Um, I might do that in a bit, but first I'll give you an update about yesterday. Um, yesterday was good. I brought Johnny out and we both had a good time. I had a little mishap where I left my cell phone in, my, uh, in the pocket of my race suit and went out and it came out and got driven over a bunch of times and it's very dead. Um, I'll include a picture of it. Um, but otherwise it went really well. I've been told that a good lap is one minute, nine seconds, roughly for these cars. And I got down to one minute, 10 seconds and four tenths. Um, that went pretty well. Uh, Looks like there's another person discovering the gate is shut. Um, see if they go around. Um, anyway, um, cards back there. You kind of see it. I just came in the old pickup. Um, Johnny had a good time. He got down to. He started at 121 and with a little bit of 
advice and practice, he got down to a 113, which is awesome. Um, there's a guy walking to probably come tell me that I can drive around. See myself, what the hell? Hey, yeah, well, welcome. Um, tell me who you are. My name is Isaac Lockhart. Okay. I'm just super excited to be out here with Point Karting. Yep. I am I. It's first uh, kind of big race weekend experience with karting for me. Cool. I've been to lots of little ones and test and tune days, so just ready to get going. Cool. Thank you. tap and die set to come out so that's not good but the cart seems to be doing fine they fixed it up and it's working great so that's where we are at I think that's I think that's the biggest thing we've had happen today was the motor mount coming apart from the groundhog hole we had that and uh, another cart had a steering wheel come off but other than that I think that's pretty much what you got yeah it's been pretty uneventful or I get some AC, that's it. Yeah, that would or, be nice. Very nice. All right. sessions. It's uh, very warm. The uh, morning one went okay. I'm doing 110s now. And then I got to compare data. I, I got to get the data off the uh, aim system for the first time and compare data with the um, another guy who's also in heavy and he's running 108.3. Um, it's basically just faster in every corner. He slows down less. Uh, he keeps the motor spinning 
Uh, he straightens out the corners. Um, went out and followed him. Was able to stay with him for a while. It was a lot of fun. And then uh, stops working. Drilled a couple holes in this brand new seat. Butt drains. In case it rains. There's a chance we have rain, and if there's rain, you don't want to be sitting in water. Um, we're going to be drilling more holes to mount the weights. The weights are these things. A couple of these dive weights should get me over uh, the two eight, or 385 that I have to be for 206 heavy. When it rains, it pours. Uh, unfortunately, it started raining like just as our session ended. Got the car and it's like crazy downpour um, but it stopped again right so I can get a sunburn while it's raining sprinkling a little bit um, everything's wet though you can see point carding tent didn't break anything um, I was told it was really windy out there kind of noticed on some of the stuff over the start finish line that was blowing around before I started and apparently that slows everybody down. It's like a 111, which is okay. Uh, that's where we're at. So this is the start, uh, or this is the middle of the, the actual race day. This is the first race. We're lining up to a rolling start. We're about to throw the green flag. And we're off. We're going for. We're going racing. This is a. This is a ten lap race. The. They have a ten lap race and then a fourteen lap race. The fourteen lap race is the final one. The ten lap is like the seeding race after qualifying. Qualifying to the ten lap. Um, head start in the back because we're rookie. Rookie start in the back in the first four races they do, regardless of qualifying around and so far everything seems okay right there's nothing nothing's crazy going on I haven't been able to make a pass and coming on the back straight I just trying to stay with the back just like keep going I'll agree to get it yeah we're getting up and oh no they're crashing already yep people are spinning picked up a bunch of positions coming around over the hill up to the red guy. Let's see. All right, okay. This corner gave me trouble all weekend. I eventually started doing it better. That one actually that one really too bad. It's hard. It really matters to exit that corner with a lot of speed because this straightaway is all flat out, including this portion right here. This is flat out, and so the faster you go out of that corner the more it matters. This is one of the best passing zones and I'm just trying to get back up with the pack. Or come along here and this this section actually worked really well for me. I, I was oh no there's a black flag. So at this point I'm pretty sure he's black flagging that guy right in front of me, 320. And You see his cart's falling apart. I didn't notice this when I was racing, but you see his rear bumper is falling off. His rear bumper's, rear bumper's falling off, and that's what they're black flagging him for. I get a pass on him here, and he hangs right on my bumper. Now, he's right on my bumper right now, trying to get a pass on me. We come around. Here, there's something that flew off a cart. Here we come around. We're doing this one. I mess up that corner a bit, but he doesn't get around me. He stays behind me. I stay down low. It's the defensive line here. I wandered back up. Actually, I didn't do it correctly, but there's another black flag. All right. Now, that black flag came out, and the timing made me think that maybe it's me. And, I, you know, it's my first race. I, I don't want to I don't want to get any penalties or get in trouble for not following a black flag. So I'm, I'm starting to get a little worried. Come around here into this section, and that happens, and I think it's me. It really isn't. It's the guy behind me. But at this point, I'm like, oh, bummer. Well, I guess I should come in. Uh, it's what it is. I'll get the next race. There's two races today. It'll be okay. So I start to let off. And 
man. I let the guy go around me. This is the guy who should be going in for the black. No, it's not him. He's no that's number three. I think the guy is still behind me. He should be going in for the black flag. Coming around here. And I decide to go in. So I drive this corner and come way over to the side. I put my arm up and I drive into the pit lane. And you'll see the marshal on the inside here turns around and sees me come in and she's like, no, no, you should be go back. No. And yeah, I feel the same way. And and then I realize I'm trapped. Uh, you can't get out of here without going through timing. And timing, or through the weighing, and you can't weigh without turning your motor off. She thinks the race, race is over. She's telling me to turn my motor off. and But the race isn't over. And I was hoping to be able to get back out there. And I talked to her. And I have to turn my motor off and get out of the car and push it. And by this point, it's, it's over. You can see uh, Mark Molson came out to watch. A whole bunch of people from Rally built it. It was really awesome. So we had our first race. Uh, it was kind of a disappointment. Uh, it was going so well at the beginning. There was a big crash going into the hairpin in the back that I managed to avoid. I pick up a bunch of positions and I, I got a, I actually got a couple passes. Like I think, uh, I'll show the video of it. Um, and then I think I, I thought I was black flagged like three times I drove past the back flag and I thought they were pointing at me and it turns out they were pointing at the guy behind me. I came in and when I went and talked to the marshals they told me that if that ever happens again I should just keep going and uh, they will make it really obvious that they're black flagging me. Um, it's a little sad because I, I think I was doing so well so I'm gonna have to make it all up in the final race. It'll be fun. Um, push hard, we'll see what happens. The whole rally build crew is here. It's crazy how many people came out for this. So here we are going out for the out lap for the final race. I made a separate video for that whole thing, um, commentated the, it, and you should go watch it. I'll put the link here. Um, it was so exciting. I, I can't say how awesome this was. It, it was a great weekend, and I can't wait for the next one. Um, I'm very excited to be kart racing. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you come back for more. I hope I can continue to make these through the rest of the year to uh, chronicle getting faster and learning to drive this kart. Thank you. <laughs>